Now, with coverage you can count on, this is News Channel 8 at noon. Welcome back. Approximately one of every three people in Connecticut is of uh, Italian ancestry. One in three. So if you want to be hit in the kitchen at your next holiday party, our guest today is going to help. Joe Baruso is here from Sparrow Italian Restaurants to show us how to make codfish with sweet and sour sauce and to share his recipes for zapoli and rigatoni alla mama Sabaro. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, this is a symbol for Italian food actually around the world, isn't it? Well, we try to be and um, we are developing very quick. Very recognizable. All right. Well, you brought some cod. In fact, you've been cooking here all morning long. My goodness, who are you going to feed? Well, the rest of the, um, the crew team and everyone else. The entire station. Sure. Show us how to make this. You brought some cod. Will do it. What we have is some plain flour, mm -hmm. and we're going to dip in the, the fishes. Just plain flour. Right. Okay. And, of course, we have some olive oil that's, that's already cooking. Is that extra virgin or doesn't matter? Doesn't matter. I, I will prefer just olive oil. Okay. Not be too extra virgin. How long do you heat up the oil before you put the fish in? Well, the oil needs to be lightly hot. You don't want the the outside of the fish to get burnt. Okay. All right. At the same time, what we're doing is in a different frying pan. Another pan? More olive oil? We're going to put olive oil. We're going to do this sweet and sour. Okay. And what we do is we we'll, we'll get the oil to get hot, and we add onions. Red onions. Does it matter what kind of onions? White red onions, onions will okay, do. Red onions. Okay. Let's give it about a minute. All right. Now, is this something you serve in your restaurants or not? Yes. Yes, we we could get this all over the country in every spot or unit. All right. Is this traditional Italian or is this? It's hundred percent Italian. It this is hundred percent Italian. Okay. We serve it to the. Uh, Holidays like this one that's coming pretty soon. And so here come the capers, right? The capers, right? And what we'll is that? A, a teaspoon or a tablespoon? That would be half a teaspoon. I mean, okay. one teaspoon. The capers. We're going to give them a minute. And on this point, what we're going to do? We're going to add some vinegar. What kind of vinegar do you have there? It's red wine vinegar. Red wine vinegar. And How how long have you been with Sparrow? Well, I'll tell you the truth, about 36 years. No kidding. A lot of people I know associate pizza with the restaurant, but obviously you do a lot more. Well, we do a lot of cooking in house in every unit. Mm -hmm. As you see, um, it's very simple, and uh, it's going to be done in a couple of minutes. At this point, we're going to be looking at the fish. All right, it's back getting to the gold, fish. Right? What do you look for on the fish? Well, we need a golden color. Okay. The texture on the outside, and then the fish will be automatically cooked on the inside. All right. Let's go back to our sweet and sour. Back to the sweet and sour. Once the vinegar is already as, as, as served, we're going to put some sugar. Okay. We're also going to be adding some black pepper and salt. A little salt and pepper, sugar. And at the very end, we're going to add cured black olives. Cured black olives. All right. We're going to stir lightly. Make sure everything gets well mixed. Mm -hmm. Now, does your does your recipe or your menu change throughout the year? I mean, for the holiday season, do you introduce anything new or does yes, it we do. Yes, we do. Periodically, what we do is we introduce um, um, six to eight recipes uh, in every period of the year, which will be like every month. And all our units across the country, they will be able to pr produce them and prepare them. And it's your job to uh, develop those, right? Yes, my job is develop the recipe and working at, uh, you know, the R and D as aspect of the food research and development, the ingredients. I'm sorry, I asked that. That cod, that cod looks beautiful. Is that Great. is it is it hard or is it easy to overcook cod? That's what I want to ask. Um, no, if you keep a moderate flame on the burner, mm -hmm. it should not burning or should not and the cut will be soft at all the time okay all right and what, in the meantime I should mention some of this other food you see here the rigatoni and the zapoli we have the recipes on our website wtnh.com so uh, feel free to go there and look for those um, looks like we're about getting ready to wrap up uh, right. is the food ready to serve yes it will be served within a minute let's wait for the codfish and the sweet and sour is almost done and when you buy cod, is there anything people should keep in mind when they go to the store looking yes, for cod Yes, of course. Cod fish comes in various, various forms. 
Some of them are fresh, which is, we're not using it. We're going to use some on salt, uh, which is dry cured with salt. And then what we're doing with uh, emerging the water for three days and changing the water every day. And then at the end of it, the fish should look like this way. All right. I'm getting the hard rep, so I'll tell you what. We'll go to a break, and then I'll try this during the commercial break. All right. Joe Baruso, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for today. Me.